Hi guys, it's been a few days, but we finally have a new tutorial lined up. Imagine this situation. You have horses. That's the situation. You having horses. Well, if you have horses, you need a stable. So, I, uh, I have a stable for you guys right here. Uh, so, let's check out how we built this thing, shall we? Okay, all stupid jokes aside, let's look at the dimensions for this build. You're going to have six pillars in between the front ones. It's going to be three blocks and then to the back it's four blocks and those back three pillars you can take up by three make sure to texture them using stone bricks cobblestone and stone do you guys like the country music i put on in the back by the way i figured we're, we're building a stable so let's do country music all right the front pillars are four high once again texture them with different types of stone so the front three pillars are four high and the back three pillars are three high. And then in between those sides and the back, we're going to be building a one block high wall. Once again, textured out of different types of stone. Like that. Nice. Then on top of that, we're going to be placing some actual walls, mixing and matching the cobblestone and the stone brick wall. Something like this and then in the middle we're just going to be placing some walls so no full blocks there and we're off to a pretty good start I think. Now for a few more details to this base we're going to place two walls right here with a fence in the middle that's our way in and then along the line of this build we're going to be placing some stairs you can once again mix and match use your stone brick and your cobble and this fills out the build nicely something like this let's also do one there and one over there and then at the top only at the front of the three largest pillars we're going to do some upside down stairs like this nice now let's start working on the roof of this stable bit um, it's a pretty difficult one it can get a little confusing but if you follow along like this you should be fine so on top of all of the pillars you can just start with placing some trapdoors. Then take this out by two. Fill it out all the way. So out by two. I'm using slabs for this and I'm using spruce. Once again over here. Some slabs. Two. One, two. One down and one, two. Let's just take a look at this. This is basically how we're building the whole roof so if you're confused pause it there and just uh, go along as i do you can fill this out with slabs all the way slabs slabs and more slabs and then at the places we've already placed trap doors you can just line it all the way with some more trap doors like this And that gives a nice clean looking roof. Starting to look pretty good. I like it. Now let's also place a few trap doors on the side here. Just makes it look a little more finished. And one in the middle. Yeah, let's do that as well. Yeah, it's starting to look good. And then under here, I'm also going to place three trap doors where the stairs are. And that's your stable roof done. Now we're also going to be making a bit of a side house to this stable. So uh, if the horses need a place to stay, you also need a place to stay. I'm making this 5 by 10. So this is a 5 by 10 box. And all of these corners we are taken up by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And just take up all the corners by 5. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all of this out and I'm also going to texture it. But I'm going to skip through that so make sure to do it as well. But I figured you don't want to see me do all of that. So if you've done that it should look something like this. You filled out all the walls and you textured them with different types of stone. Now along the line of this build we're also going to place a few more stairs. So you can mix and match stone brick and cobblestone. And it should look something like this. Now for a door, I want to knock out these three, these three, and these three. 
and just place some stairs in the corner there. And we're gonna do the old trick with spruce trap doors. Three on top of each other, like this. Other side as well. And we can even do that in the middle. So three more, knock out these two. We get them up and we have a perfect place to place a door like this. Mm, wait, no, not like that. Like that, perfect. I really like that. Now let's make some windows. Let's get some light in this building. In the back, we can knock out four. So one, two, three, four. And we place some upside down stairs over there and over there. And on the side, we're gonna do two of those. So knock out four, knock out four. Upside down stair, upside down stair. And the same over there. And that's starting to look pretty cool. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, I like how this looks. The building is missing a roof though. So let's work on that one next. For the roof, we're going to knock out these two. Uh, these three actually. And line along the building with some dark oak stairs. Pop it out by one. And then add an upside down stairs to that. So... Pop it out by one, upside down stair, and just line the whole building with some dark oak stairs. Once again, pop it out by one, pop it out by one, and we do upside down, upside down. Now for this, we're going to grab some slabs and slowly work our way up. So something like this. You can knock out this one and place another upside down stair. That looks pretty cool, I think. We do the same thing on the other side. So work our way up with some slabs. Like, uh, let's actually start with the upside down. And then one other slab. And then we take this from the front all the way to the back with some dark oak slabs. Only the top one though. Because the rest we're going to fill out with some spruce slabs. So we just take our spruce slabs. Listen to our country music. And fill this roof out all the way. Other side as well. Nice. We've got a roof. Now let's do a bit of work on the inside of this small little building. First, I want to fill these gaps out with some spruce slabs. So something like this. And then I want to do two cross beams where the windows are so you just look where the windows are and you add an extra slab to the roof and then finish this off with some spruce stairs so something like that and i think that roof looks pretty cool yeah i like that now let's slap in some windows i'm using light gray but you can use whatever really and for the floor I actually had a pretty cool idea so we can knock out all of this grass and do something a little bit different with the floor Oh, we lost the door. I will put you back in in a second. Uh, we're going to use some stripped oak and also some stripped dark oak. And we're going to intertwine those like this. So almost like a chessboard, basically. And I think that effect looks pretty nice. So let's finish that up all the way. So something like this. Now, let me think about this. Yeah, I have to place those. Perfect. And that to finish it off. I think that roof is pretty nice. And now let's place our door back in. Looking cool. We're getting there. We're getting there. Next, I want to do a little bit of work on the inside of the stable. So you can also knock out this grass. Because if there have been horses on it for a long time... I can guarantee you there's no grass left. So I'm just going to replace that with some potsole and coarse dirt. Something like this. Just randomly slap it down really. Boom, some coarse dirt as well. And then of course the horses want something to eat. So I'm just going to slap a few hay bales down as well. Something like that. Yep, I like that. Let's get out of here. And do the same thing in this stable as well. So knock out the grass. Place random pots all and coarse dirt. And then also put down some hay bales. Yes, something like that. More hay. 
Nice. He gets two stacks. It's a hungry horse. And let's also actually do that in front of the stable because this is where the horses kind of walk out. So the ground is probably kind of roughed up as well over here. So let's just do some pots. Hell oh, I, almost <laughs> I almost got it. Uh, let's do some more potzel and coarse dirt. So just randomly like this. Yeah, that looks pretty natural. And then let's do a pathway leading up to the door. Something like this. We can just do a rough path. It has to look like horses have been walking on it. So just do something like this leading to your other builds. That you obviously build looking at my channel. Thank you for that. Um, now a few finishing touches I want to do is just add some light for these horses. So slap a lantern in there and in there so they can actually see something at night. And let's also give ourselves a little bit of light. So something like this. Close that door. And now maybe we also add some barrels. You know, a little bit of extra storage, I guess. Just randomly like this. And maybe some extra hay. For these horses. Something like that. I like that. Looks cool. And of course the grand finale. We have to get some horses. So let's close this. Slap a horse. Hello there Jack. That's named Jack. And one over there. Oh my god. It's a little baby. Hi. Oh my god. I love him. Alright. Well I hope they're happy with their home. Because I think it's pretty cool. And that is it for today's build. This is a sneak peek of what I did on the inside. But it's honestly up to you how you want to fill it out. And that's it. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.